A derivative is a contract, between two parties, whose value is based on an underlying asset. The most common underlying assets for derivatives are, stocks, commodities, bonds, interest rates, currencies, and indices based on set of assets. Derivatives can be used by market participants like hedgers, speculators, and arbitragers. Most widely used exchange-traded derivatives products are, futures, and options. In this video, we shall cover, options. An option is a type of derivative contract which gives the option buyer, also known as option holder of the option, the right, but not the obligation, to buy or sell an underlying asset. The option buyer pays a price called option premium, to the option seller, also known as option writer for this right. The option seller, on the other hand is obliged to honor the contract, should the buyer choose to exercise the option. Options contracts can be both exchange traded, or over-the-counter bilateral contracts. Options contract is like buying an insurance policy, to cover the price risk by paying a small amount, as premium. Unlike futures contracts, wherein both buyers and sellers pay margins, in options contracts mostly only options contract sellers pay the margins, stipulated by clearing houses like NCCL. Depending on the structure of options contract, underlying asset can be either the commodity itself, like Chunga, Bengal Gram, for example, or a corresponding futures contract, like a Chunga futures contract. Options contracts are of two types, call option and put option. Call option. It gives buyer the right to buy the underlying asset. Put option. It gives buyer the right to sell the underlying asset. The price at which the option buyer agrees to buy either a call option or a put option, is known as the strike price. Depending on exercise and settlement, options contracts are primarily of two kinds, European option, the buyer can exercise the option, only on the date of expiration of the option contract. American option, the buyer can exercise the option, at any time before the expiry of the option contract. Let's understand this with an example of two hedgers, a farmer and a miller. The farmer's chana crop will be ready, in about three months. The miller also needs chana after three months, to produce chana dal or basin. The farmer and the miller individually register as clients of trading members of an exchange. To hedge risks due to price variations, the farmer buys a three months chana put option, which gives him the right to sell chana when his crop is ready, while the miller buys three months chana call option, which gives him the right to buy chana when he needs it for milling. Both farmer and miller pay a premium, depending upon the strike price. The option premium is transparently discovered at the exchange platform. In case of options contracts for both call and put, there are three possibilities. ITM, in the money. Call option is said to be in ITM, when spot price is more than strike price. Put option is said to be in ITM, when spot price is less than strike price. OTM out of the money. Call option is said to be in OTM, when spot price is less than strike price. Put option is said to be in OTM, when spot price is more than strike price. ATM, at the money. Call and put options are said to be in ATM, when spot price is equal, or nearly equal to strike price. Thanks for watching the video. For more information, email us on askus at ncdex.com or call us at 1-800-266-2339.